What's up, y'all? It's Malik, and let's get it done. Get it done, Malik. Kato, you uh, way too uh, dumb, kid. <laughs> I was down real bad. Had to get up off my ass. Mojo. I ran, I felt like I was coming last I lost faith in myself and I ain't never going back That's a fact, I'm the type to lose it all and get it back uh, So today we got my 2016 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, okay? Um, basically, I'm gonna tell y'all the story So I was driving, me and my boy Al, shout out to Al And I hit a bump so, I hit a bump. My air, my intake hose came loose. It was a really deep bump. And I live in Chicago. Hey, it's part of Chicago. Uh, luckily, it didn't pop a tire or break anything. But it broke this. So, y'all see this right here? It said, service electric throttle control. So, I'm going to show y'all. My method of hopefully fixing this, let's get to it. All right, so, okay, so we gotta take this off for one. Then, under here, we gotta take the intake holes off. We gotta get this from under here and we gotta clean the EGR valve, and then there's a sensor that I need to clean as well. I can't do this and hold the phone, so I'm gonna get back to y'all. One, two, three. All right, y'all. Okay, look. So that's the EGR valve, this right here. So that needs to be cleaned, and there's a sensor right here. I gotta get that off. So, I gotta clean that as well. That's, I think that's the map sensor. So that's what it says, so I'm gonna try that, and I'm also gonna clean my intake, because it's dirty. So, yeah, this is the 3.0 V6 Eco Diesel. Look at this, y'all. I should be ashamed of myself. You see that? I should be ashamed of myself. Let's clean this up, y'all. All right, y'all, look. Got all four bolts out. They're sitting in the bowl over there. Boom, we're pulling it out. EGR valve is big, crusty, dirty, nasty. Like, that's disgusting, bro. Wow. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, bro. I want to get something to like suck that up. I'm gonna try to uh, vacuum that out real quick just to get in there. Look at all of that. That's bad. That's bad. All right. Okay. Cleaned it up as best as I could. I used some uh, throttle body cleaner, scrub brush, and then I got those like uh, hand cleaning towels from Home Depot. They work on not just hands, they work on a lot of stuff. I really wanna clean this better. So I think I might, because I do have to take my, um, my air filter off and I'm gonna pressure wash that. So I might pressure wash this too. So this might be the uh, the end of this right now. So I'm gonna put everything back together, but I'm not gonna start the car up because my um, air filter is gonna be dirty. I mean, it's gonna be wet. So we'll just have to basically just wait and see. 
I'm about to pressure wash these two and uh, get back to it. So y'all give me a second. Okay, I got my air filter and I got the uh, ECR valve right here. So I already started spraying as y'all can see, but it's a pretty big one. Let's see what happens. All right, y'all. It's cleaned as best as I could get it. It's not a pro job, but it should be good enough for now. One day I might like, somebody said something about soaking it in diesel. I'll probably do that. I just pressure washed it and uh, I made sure it was dry. This is not dry, of course, but that should be okay. Uh, <clears throat> I made sure this was dry no water inside and I cleaned as best as I could the uh, mass airflow sensor is dirty too so I might take that off and clean that too while I'm at it okay y'all so you see EGR valve is gone it's off of there the intake is off. I'm going to take that mass airflow off, clean that real quick. That is right here. I'm going to clean that, put everything back together except for the air filter. I need to let that dry. And then I'll probably just wait until the morning once it dries and drains out. And then I'll oil it. Um, I'm going to read the instructions first and just see what I should do. Because I, I bought the red um, oil for that. So I'm gonna see what I should do with that and then we'll go from there. Okay, so got the oil right here. This is what I'm gonna use. I already used the cleaner. Let me show y'all the cleaner. They're low key, like spilt on my seats a little bit. I used that. It actually worked. So I power washed the air filter first. I let it sit for maybe like five, 10 minutes. And then I came back and power washed it again. And you could see all of the stuff coming off of it. Um, I'm gonna read this. I might actually go back out there and spray some more of that stuff and, and let it sit just to deep clean it. But let's read this first. Basically once this dries and cleans up, They want us to spray evenly throughout this whole thing. Get one defined color, one solid color all the way around. It does look pretty clean, y'all. So I might just clean it again just to do it. So. So I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh while that's that's you know soaking in the cleaner right now, I'm gonna put this EGR valve back on back on with the um sensor as well. I gotta put the sensor back on. So I'm gonna do that. Uh the sensor is clean. I need to show that to y'all too. So here's the sensor. I did a pretty good job of cleaning this off. I'm not power washing this because I'll probably break it. A little bit more sludge in there. So yeah, I'm gonna clean it again, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. I'm gonna leave everything to dry overnight, but 
I'm gonna disconnect the battery cable before I go. Both both negative and positive. Okay, so negative first, positive after that. See, I got all of this going on right here. So I'm basically just taking these off. <sighs> I'm tired, man. I am tired. So I'm gonna take these off real quick and go upstairs. And go to sleep. Okay, battery disconnected. Okay, that's disconnected. Hopefully they don't move. Um, should be good. All right, guys, it's the next morning. I got the air filter in. I got everything reattached. Okay, y'all see that? Everything is reattached and tightened down. Y'all see the uh, filter is oiled. Um, this cover just goes back over it. So we just got to tighten this cover back down. I'm going to go. I actually had the battery um, disconnected all night. So I'm going to go and uh, start the car up. I connected the battery back. Got that on there. Um, I got all my sensors plugged back in. Yesterday I cleaned the sensor. We did everything. Y'all just saw that in the video. Let's go ahead and start it up. Uh, just like this and see what happens. We still got the same message, man. I'm going to try to get the computer flashed or something like that, but it's still showing the same thing. Okay, so as y'all see, no more code. My lovely neighbor, a good friend of mine, just reset the computer and everything, so we're good. So look, I'm going to give y'all another couple seconds later on today just to make sure that the code didn't pop back up. I do need def. But I still want to take it to the dealership because I got two codes on here for like the fuel injection and stuff. So some stuff just needs to be clean. That's all. It's nothing big. But for the electronic throttle control, you have to clean that map sensor. You got to clean that EGR valve and you got to reset that computer. You guys saw me do it all. So, you know, that's what it is. All right. It's Malik. We're getting it done. Let's go. All right, guys, it's a couple hours later. I've been driving all day. No lights. Everything is good. I'm driving real good. Joking. I seen him parked outside of my crib, so I plotted to smoke him up from a city. You gotta get it or you gon' get got. Shorties ain't got no hands no more, so don't get shot. I'm from my west. If you need some bread, then just post on the block. Stop this week.